Merry Christmas, everybody. While you were sleeping, we got you yourself a little throwback gift. It's Ooh. vintage NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reporting. Seattle found help in the backfield. They signed Marshawn Lynch. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. One year contract. This move comes as the result of Seattle, of course, losing their running back Chris Carson to a fractured hip, CJ Procise to a broken arm, Rashad Penny. Before that, they found some help in the backfield. Merry Christmas, everybody. Absolutely. And to you, Kay. Thanks. And to you. <laughs> this is our show. We're here live. We have a lot of guests here on this holiday. We're joined we by Swagga Claus, of course. Yeah, hello. How are you? Merry Christmas. You know we're in our fourth season when Nate wears that and we don't even blink. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually I was in the makeup tree this morning and I was like, well, should I wear something festive? I know Nate's probably going to wear the red Swagga Claus the red and green. outfit. We're good. There we go, Peter Schrager. We've got um, Abercrombie and Fitch. That's right. A little L.L. Bean maybe, perhaps. It all works for me. Our show is presented by Intuit QuickBooks. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching us this morning. We've got so much to get to, especially highlights from an NFC North Battle Royale. We've been waiting for this one, haven't we? Packers, Vikings. Let's get to it right now because we got a score to set on the NFC North. We know Kirk Cousins, Monday Night Football. Look at Thielen. Light up sweater. Nate, have you ordered this yet from NFLshop.com? That is a beautiful sweater, Kyle. All right, Aaron Rodgers wants to order a championship t-shirt. Says the North is not enough. Will he be wearing one? Early in the game, he goes to Aaron Jones trying to get things started. It's a fumble! Anthony Barr causes it and then is celebrating on the sideline while it's being returned by Eric Kendricks. He almost got into dang angry runs with this thing. The Vikings were rocking early the defense and he says fa la 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 Aaron Jones says my bad we will see much more from Aaron Jones later but the Vikings only get a field goal in this one 3-3 now tied early second quarter first play of the second quarter. this is weird watch this picked off Aaron Rodgers this is only his third pick of the year he hasn't thrown one in 278 throws yeah. Anthony Harris just jumped that thing Nate. and he dropped right into that lurking area and baited him into the throw and came up with a big interception you just don't see it Rodgers was drinking purple Gatorade all night. Strange choice against the Vikings, but maybe it worked. And look at this throw. Kirk Cousins says, how do you like me now? And watch the fun digs. Watch the chatter after the catch. It's going to be so good. He has he's such a right at him. Watch, he's going to catch it right there, dropping him perfectly. Woo. And then just a little Christmas greeting. We don't see much of it against Jay Alexander, but those two went at it all night. 10 to 6 Vikings. Rodgers looking now. He goes to Devontae, who's great, but it's a fumble. Harrison Smith smacked the ball. Guys, the Packers were kind of a mess in the first half offensively. They had three turnovers, just nine coming into the game. Watch the punch, Peter. Yeah, the punch is tremendous by Harrison Smith. Kendricks would recover. Kendricks leaves the game at the half. Yeah, tweaked his quad. Big time. The they were up when he left. Now watch this play. We're going to go, and it's going to go to Stephon Diggs. And he got Kirk Cousins. What a special. Get it to him. Guys, it's the same play they tried to run to Brady in the same stadium, <laughs> in the same part of the field. Remember Amendola to Brady when they couldn't complete it? Should have set his feet off. Oh. running, and it got it got away from the car. He was wide open. And Cousins laid out for it. He couldn't get it. Another missed opportunity in which the Vikings offense was brutal. Go to the third quarter. The Vikings still winning. 10-9. Play action. They're the best at the league in it, right? Cousins going to uncork one. And double coverage picked by Kevin King, who does a nice little one-handed return here. Diggs very animated on the sideline afterwards, getting into a Kirk. Constructive, sure, maybe. We got a surrender Cobra with so look, there it is. You can't really leave the rips. This is I wanted the ball, I think. We're showing Aaron Jones now because he had an early fumble, and then he decided to take over the game. He really did. Red zone. Packers don't have a touchdown at this point. Look at the burst from 33. So many touchdowns at us from this guy this year. So many touchdowns. Every this five seconds. Record. Look at this one. First and ten, fourth quarter. This is what they say, calling game. He's gone. He's celebrating at the 40-yard line in an opposing stadium. Out of here. Big run. Ball game. Guys, the Packers win the North. They go and, look, they punch the Vikings in the teeth. This was not close down the stretch. They're going to have one last gap at it. But how good was the Darius Smith? Mm, this is the... Oh! That was Kirk Cousins' sweater that he was wearing. It was his Darius Smith sweater, and believe me, it was ugly. LaFleur, he's like, all I've done is show up and take a losing team and win the North. No big deal. 23-10. to Look at the Packers' record. 12-3. and Kings in the North. They will host a playoff game, and maybe better. They still got that number one seed in their eyes. But after the game, our guy, Tom Pelissero, Cut off with Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith after a big time defensive showing in the NFC North, and things got a little emotional. Wow, man, it's crazy to know like how we started off and, and how we came to this second to last game and, and, and took the division. 
We fought okay, through a lot yeah. of adversity. We fought through a lot of adversity, man. We stuck with our guns, man. We kept fighting. We knew that we keep fighting, man. Thing, good things will happen for us, man. We had to play good defense, help our offense out, man. They got back on track, and they, they sealed the deal for us. Yeah. Feeling a lot here, Sidarius. Why does this mean so much to you? <laughs> Give me a second. Because <laughs> we was in the locker room. Let me take it. I got it. I got it. We was in the locker room, and I told him, boy, man, the only thing I want for Christmas is a hat and a T-shirt, man. And, and we pulled it off, man, so we're going to go celebrate this win, and we're going to get ready for next week for Detroit. Two more T-shirts and two more hats they can get to That's maybe awesome. finish that wish list. And this, Nate, is why we love football. Love that passion. Packers clinch the NFC North. They're currently the two seed. They're in a three-way tie atop the NFC with the Niners and the Saints. So if the Packers win in Week 17, they lock up the first round bye. They can get the number one overall seed with the win. And if the Niners lose to the Seahawks, who just added Marshawn Lynch. That's where we sit here, Christmas Eve morning. Most impressive part of the Packers win. Three rather uncharacteristic turnovers to start things off. And that's it. It was the first half mistakes for me. You know, you look at the Packers and you expect them to take care of the ball in the situ situation they were in. I mean, just think about it. They were on the road in a game that mattered, had so much to do with the playoff implications. They have the two first half fumbles. Aaron Rodgers uncharacteristically throws an interception. Mm -hmm. You're thinking to yourself, oh, it's a wrap from here. It's going down. Ugly, and man. not to mention, they were held to two field goals in that first half. So you're thinking to yourself, they can't get it together. They're making mistakes. I haven't seen this many mistakes on the road since I was 16 taking my driver's test. Here we go. <laughs> Running stop signs, Nate. Here's Slow roll. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just like me, though, they collected themselves. Mm -hmm. They got control of the situation. And now they're in the driver's seat, man. <laughs> We all have a great affinity for Nate's driving tests. When I think of Nate and his car when he was 16, I think I of him in the backseat. I, I, I love Nate with the pizza uh, as well. <laughs> oh, the oh, pizza! Oh, Peter, it went right over my head. You're right. Oh, you're crazy. Crazy. Uh, but you're right. They came together. They get the win. Their defense looked awesome. And that was what it was. It was the defense. Look, and Rodgers had a great quote after this game. He says, uh, winning is always beautiful. Defense wins mm. NFC North Championships. Then he says, but there's a lot of emphasis on looking pretty in a way that befits your explanation. Meaning, don't worry about how we got to 12 and three. I will be okay. This defense is the real deal. Zadarius Smith, you saw the numbers, you saw the emotion. Seven tackles, three and a half sacks, and then this is what they've done Ooh. the last few weeks. I know we've spent a lot of time saying, well, what's up with the offense? What's up with the offense? Uh. How about look at the defense? This is a very good unit, and when you get to December and you have to go into your arch rivals building with everything at stake to have your defense lead the way, and that guy who might be your defensive player of the look year, out. he's that good, mm. this tells me that this team might be really Really, really suited for a January run. I know Rodgers is going to show up. This defense has put it together last mm -hmm. night. Kevin King had the best game of his career, I think, last night. Uh, yeah, last night in this game up against the Vikings. Adam Thielen couldn't get anything done. The Vikings couldn't capitalize on any of those mistakes. What do people need to know about Zaire, Zaire Alexander that maybe they don't? I feel like the national audience needs to get a taste of just who he is as a person. Zadarius Smith comes from the Ravens. Zaire Alexander was the yes. other first-round pick, along with Lamar Jackson, two drafts ago out of Louisville. Everyone talked about Lamar. Here's Zaire Alexander. Alexander, this Jair Alexander, this great player yeah. at cornerback who was just shutting down Stephon Diggs all day yesterday. They've got so many defensive stars, but because they play in Green Bay, mm -hmm. kind of a smaller market, you don't see or hear much about them. You know what you don't hear about is what do you get the guy who has everything? Rodgers has Super Bowl ring. He's got a bunch of, bunch of money. He's got a cool girlfriend. You get him a star running back, and you get him incredible pass rushers. Like, how happy is Aaron Rodgers? I feel like it's – Michael Jordan never had a dominant center in his whole career, and Rodgers has it. You know, it's – when I look at the pass rush especially, like, you look early in the career, like, Clay Matthews was dominant. Clay Matthews, defensive player of the year. Right. And it's been a long time since he's had this. Not only these two guys coming from other ends. This time of year, you know we talked yesterday, Mahomes doing the counting thing. This is the time of year that if you have the nasty to go ahead and show it, how about after what they did to Kirk Cousins – Preston Smith walking in the locker room mm -hmm. said, I got a little something for you. We do like it. We absolutely love it, especially when you just dominate your rival on the road and nobody likes it more than Rodgers. Merry Christmas, Aaron Rodgers. You got a running back and a pass rush. You good, fam. This is the most complete Packers team we have seen in a while using their run, doing some ball control offense. We'll see how it works out in the playoff picture. They are tied. They can still get that number one seed, though. We'll tell you how as we continue to break down the playoff picture. Merry Christmas to you, sir. Yeah. 
I wear that. I wear that. We hear from Jason Garrett himself on uh, the Cowboy Stars, why they weren't on the field during crunch time. Mm. Ugh. Can't really make that one happy. Hey! hey! He's back. He's not just here so he doesn't get fined. He wants to play. We'll break it down. Like the Grinch coming into Hoover. Ahu Dore. <laughs> Good Morning Football is presented by QuickBooks. You earned it. We're here to make sure you get it. QuickBooks, backing you.